Gwenyphon, where are you? Hwahwa, stay close. Hwahwa? Oh, no. Where did she go? Is this a mirror? It looks a little creepy. around this place again. Maybe I can break out of the cycle. <laughs> You've noticed it, no? Hmm. You have a strange scent on you. You must be. I've heard the whispers of the leaves that fall in Fixtral Garden. The flames weep and profess to me that a powerful mortal approaches. They carry the scent of a great battle. With none other than Fantilia. You... You are the one who drew Fantilia away. <sighs> what power! Your presence alone is delicious enough to make one tremble. Let me taste you, please. One bite! Just one bite! I can't wait to savor you! These are no ordinary Angelina. <laughs> of course not! There are mere pawns dancing to crush them. Smash them to pieces. Rules are made to be broken. Let me see. The one who defeated Fantilia. I wonder what they taste like. General of the La Fu and the great Heliobus Ignamar. Now that the furnace is broken and the Heliobi have escaped, fragments like us, who once constituted Ignamar the Whole, have returned here with a desire to challenge the General again. The battle between the General and Ignamar was an earth shaking contest of devastating proportions. Ignamar underwent countless transformations, causing floods, fires, and thunderous landslides. They were locked in a standoff. An evenly matched fight. Evenly matched? Really? The general who fought for the Law Fu against the Heliobus was named Tung Xiao. The Ten Lords Commission records say that Ignamar was soundly defeated by General Tung Xiao. Of course the human records would flatter their general. The great Ignamar absorbed the power of countless fellow Heliobi, but ultimately underestimated human deceit. They were narrowly defeated by the general. We Heliobi could never condense into physical form after that battle. We scattered into fragments and were sealed into the creation furnace. There's an exception to everything, Mr. Tail. I thought you'd escaped to freedom. Who could have guessed you'd be sealed in this tiny Foxian girl? <laughs> Humiliating. Damn, sealed my foot! My power was weak when I ran into this fox child. It was bad luck, nothing more. When I was littler, I saw a ball of fire that looked like it was about to turn to embers. I felt sorry for it, so I picked it up and put it on my tail. And then... Mr. Tail tried to eat me! If the judges hadn't arrived, it would have been over! Bah! I did no such thing! You're barely big enough to be an appetizer! A 
All the pain I've suffered since I met you must be retribution for my stupidity back then. <laughs> Hilarious! It's a pity Mr. Tail didn't devour you. He might have recovered his power and turned the Sienjo upside down. Just like Ignamar did. Grudge? How shallow. If you must know the forces behind our actions, there's a pinch of envy. Envy towards the potent emotions you corporeal beings have. Then there's a dash of aggression. The desire to see whether the heliobi or bodies of flesh and blood are stronger. Lastly, there's a drizzle of desire. We desire to possess your physical bodies, so we can eat, kill, love, and hate. <sighs> we Heliobi were carefree life forms, but were tainted with the illness of humanity once we came into contact with it. It's humanity's fault for having such intense emotions and desires. Now we can never, never return to the purity of our past. <sighs> I want to be free again. I want to return to the cosmos. Mr. Tail, you don't want to regroup with the fragments? You don't want to be her tail forever? Why don't you return with me to the great beyond? <laughs> don't get ahead of yourself, Shearus. That's impossible. Mr. Tail was sealed by the judges of the Ten Lords Commission. He can't escape, and neither can you. Look, there's a mirror behind the door. Didn't I see a similar mirror when I was dragged in? That sound... Well, well, this way. What's going on? There's a voice in the mirror? That voice sounds familiar. Hua, are you in the mirror? I finally found you. Madam Shreyi? Fixtral Garden has been enveloped by an unknown power. You must be careful. We still haven't found Miss Gwenaifen. I don't know where she went. The task at hand is to save you from this illusion. Come, pass through the mirror and come to our side. Oh, are we? Above Fixtral Garden? Hmm. So many bronze mirrors. Could it be that... Uh, you're right, girl. This place is changing. It's trying to stop us from escaping. But one of these mirrors must contain the exit, right? Let's check them all! The situation in Fixtral Garden is getting worse. Why have you not left? Is something the matter in there? Over here! That sounds like the real Madame Shui! What? The real Madame Shui? Are there pretenders inside the illusion? I see. Do not be afraid. Kuo Hua knows me well. She will be able to discern me from the counterfeits. <laughs> You must trust yourself. Come. Hurry, Huahua. Pass through the mirror and come to me. Wait. I want to ask a few questions to see if you're the real person. Tanya is my younger sister, but this alone cannot prove who I am. Ask me something else. By decree of the Ten Lords, Spiritfarer Hua Hua is skilled and diligent, capable and worthy of officialdom. She is hereby promoted to the position of judge. I still remember the decree for her promotion. That's her! This has to be Madame Shui behind the mirror! So, we're gonna... I'm not the best judge of things, but these mirrors... Not a single one is the real thing! 
none of them show Madame Shrei as I know her to be. That puppet judge never respected me. But she also never let her guard down. I've spent a long time working with Madame Shrei. She's always known that I'm scared and timid, but she never told me off. <sighs> the Ten Lords Commission never cared a wink about your frail constitution. You're the only one who makes a big deal about it. And as long as you don't drag me down, I don't really care how much of a coward you are either. What you? Hey, 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 get away from me! What do you know? <laughs> and what are we even talking about? We need to focus! The illusion wants to keep us in. But it can't possibly keep expanding its borders forever. I think there's got to be a fourth mirror somewhere. Huh? I think there's a mirror on that floating island. But it's a bit far away. <laughs> Could I crawl my way there? Quit stalling and get on with it! I didn't think you'd be able to. <laughs> All these years, and you finally started to grow up a bit. Hurry, Huahua. This should be the last mirror. I don't want to go back the way we came, but I need to ask some questions about myself to make sure. Everyone is different. A judge is not a soldier, and they need more than just courage. It is the decree of the Ten Lords for Hua Hua to be elevated to a judge. There must be some meaning in it. Just what do those old fogies see in this coward? <sighs> Let's go! This is the right mirror! Uh, are we... back in Fixtral Garden? You've returned safely. It seems the Ten Lords Commission is not down on our luck today. Madam Shrei, I'm so happy to see you're all right! Did you encounter anything strange on your way here? <laughs> no wonder she's a judge. Very perceptive. I understand. This isn't the time to deal with Cirrus. Fixtral Garden has been dragged into a powerful illusion by an even mightier Heliobus. And the spirit bearers who went to suppress it have lost contact with me. Wahua, if both Hanya and I are unable to suppress that demon, then you will have to defeat it. Huh? I won't be able to do it! I'm not as powerful as you two! I always run and hide before a battle. Do not underestimate yourself. A Heliobus cannot possess a body that is already possessed by another Heliobus. Such is your absolute advantage as a judge. I know you're trying to comfort me, but that sounded a little weird. You need to start filtering out the stuff you don't want to hear. That's what I do. The Heliobi are aggressive beings, but they cannot shake their desire for a flesh and blood body. And yet... During the 38 years you have worked for the Ten Lords, you have been constantly able to suppress the monster within your tail and maintain your personality. You are already a fitting judge. Be confident. On that point, none of the other judges can surpass you. Suppress the monster? Oh, but I don't think I've ever had to suppress tail. I guess we're more like... friends? Friends? Ugh. I don't make friends with food! <laughs> Mr. Tail, puny fragments like us were deprived of Ignamar's power long ago. If a little girl can subdue us, then perhaps it's time for some humility. Shut your trap! Though Fury Nox is powerful, we have a chance of suppressing them if we can break them into multiple fragments. You have a sound plan, Your Honor. And since the stage is set, allow me to offer my assistance. Let's find somewhere more open first. Like Swallow Sun Pavilion over there. Let's go. 